Uh, this is the second part of a mechanical drawing in the NX10. Um, in this case, instead of making detailed drawing based on the part, right, uh, we are going to make assembly drawing, which is showing the uh, it's a part component. And we can also create a BOM based on that, and also uh, balloons and some additional information into the drawing. So I'll show you how you really can make it. So now we already made um, assembly uh, using the two sub assembly and the original part. So we are going to use that part. So we're going to use that uh, you already done. So I'm going to copy that folder and rename that as lab 30 which is the last one. There we go. Then I am going to open the final assembly I already made it. Uh, so right there. There we go. So final assembly already have a two uh, different types of sub-assembly. Sub-assembly one it is a full uh, same thing but we repeat it four times and so for assembly one is a link to our link in and also it has a certain degree into it. Another thing we did it before when we make this assembly is make created a, a explorer view which can be done again under assembly. There's explorer view and I already made the explosion one so that I can I can activate it then right away the explosion you made can be uh, visualized. Again, when you create an uh, explorer view, you can add a trace lines so they can easily track those parts and easily visualize how parts are assembled. Alright, so based on this, uh, we are going to make the one big mechanical drawing, uh, which will have uh, two of them, one uh, full scale of this and also I like to have a fully assembled drawing and I'm going to shade it so that it can be much easily uh, visualized it. then I have a BOM and based on the BOM I'm going to attach the balloons into this drawing as well too alright so to do that I'm going to again jump to the application and I'm going to start drafting okay, size again you can resize it depending on what you need uh, since it's quite a big assembly, you can use A0 to fit it into, but in this case, let's kind of practice different uh, scale. So I'm going to use A2 again, A0, A biggest one, A1, A2, A3, go that way. So I'm going to use A2 size, and again, I like to use a base view command. So okay. And again, the basic information you want to put there will be right there. So it should buy, let's say actually, this book, the author is uh, Shan Teku. Then drawn by your name. And checked by whatever the TA name is. And upper by, let's say, my name is there. Again, this information will be right away uh, updated there. Then now, then right away you come to the base view. Again, okay, this is the part you are going to put the first view. Now, now I like to put instead of top view. Again, I, as I mentioned, I like to have explorer view as a main thing. So if you bring it down and change it to trimetric view. Again, there are several views already arranged, but if you already have uh, Explorer view made it, again, if Explorer view is already made it, then uh, turn it on, turn on the Explorer view, then when you use trimetric view, instead of isometric view, as you can see isometric is fully assembled, trimetric will present the Explorer view. Then you can decision what make a decision what's the scale you're gonna put 
into your drawing. So in this case, I'm going to use here, so half a scale, try make your view, which is explorer view, and click. Then right away, uh, you can see the explorer view is made. So let, let's say also you want to show the fully assembled one, you already saw the base view, then in this case, if you choose isometric view, automatically fully assembled view is following you. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make a much smaller scale, or you can have your own scale, let's say quarter size, and you can put it, as you can see, each view very, can be very easily snapped into to a line. Close. Again, if you like to provide the much detail, the um, let's say the shading, or better rendering, right click, settings, shading, and change it to fully shaded, you can add even more uh, detail. So again, those uh, center lines of those objects, if you want, again, anytime, you can hit it or delete it. It works either way. A couple of them is kind of overlapped. Right. Then now, let's see how many parts are being used. Well, it doesn't mean I want to count one by one. Then I like to put those list of parts, which is bit of material, call it. So I like to put those BOM right there. So to create the BOM, here's a part list. Use. Then right away, even you rec before you recognize it is already following you, you can go, you can line up at the corner, let's say right there. There we go, click. Then you can see part numbers here piston ring, how many of them, piston plug, how many of them, and so on. So we automatically count. Even though sub-assembly you use will be separately counted as well too. So now, part number is listed, but we don't know which one is actually part number one or piston ring. Let's say that. So we want to add the balloon. The balloon can be done easily by auto balloons right here. So auto balloon. Then the sub-object, is, what it's asking is actually a list of parts so that you can utilize this information to attach the balloon. So object is not the drawing, it is a BOM. So you have to remember that. Click. Then say OK. Then uh, since we have two view, it is asking you which view would you like to add all the balloon into it. So in this case, I like to attach in the Explorer view, so trimetric and say OK. Then those information you had in the BOM will be again uh, presented as all balloons in trimetric view. Uh, my preference is try to align the balloons kind of lined it up like this so easy to track. Right, it looks pretty good to me. And that's all we needed for the assembly drawing. Again, fully explored view and a fully assembled view and the BOM and your balloons.
It's pretty much a simple way to present your assembly and its component. Well, that concludes uh, this demonstration.